So here is the Z30 box looking very similar to the unlocked Z10 that we saw before. I want to thank our friends at Negri Electronics for hooking us up with this guy. Be sure to check them out for all of your unlocked phone and tablet needs and they're even selling uh, cameras and lenses now. So go ahead and peel off the plastic. Uh, sort of nondescript big Z30, there's Blackberry embossed on the side. Slide that up. And then there is the new big black brand. It does look like a very big phone. It's a five inch screen with a 1280 by 720 uh, resolution to 295 PPI. Uh, it feels significant. It's got a similar back to what we saw uh, on the Q10 with that sort of textured sort of faux carbon fiber look. Push off the side for just a quick second. Let's see what else we're going to have in the box. We're going to have, I think this phone was regional to Hong Kong, so I'm guessing this is going to be in uh, mostly Mandarin. Uh, but we've got uh, power, We've got they're pretty nice looking headphones actually. Um, curved uh, headphones with uh, different size earbuds. And then we've got your charging and seeking cable. Nothing else, um, no sort of pouch or anything in there. Uh, here's the phone, the phone feels really nice. Uh, the bottom here looks like metal. It may actually be metal. Uh, just for a real quick comparison, here is the Z10. See what the size difference here are as well. So a 4.2 inch phone uh, to a five inch phone. And it really looks quite nice. Of course, being powered by BB10. Uh, speaking of being powered, I will turn this guy on and I'll run through the rest of the specs. Uh, it's a super AMOLED screen as well. Uh, it's being powered by a pretty nice uh, dual core 1.7 gigahertz uh, Qualcomm Snapdragon chip with quad core Adreno 320 GPU. The 710 with a 1.5 gigahertz Qualcomm core chip. Uh, 2 gigs of RAM, 16 gigs of internal storage, but that is expandable with micro SD, which you can't hot swap, so you can pop in one while you're using it. The back, we've got a rear facing camera. It's 8 megapixel that does 1080p video. On the front, we've got a 2 megapixel fixed focus uh, camera that can shoot 720p video. All the rest of the good stuff you'd expect are here NFC and DLNA. Uh, relatively nice size, I guess, 2800 a milliamp hour battery. It's supposed to give you 18 hours uh, of talk time or up to 16 days of standby time. 802.11 A, B, G, and N. Uh, and it weighs 170 grams. Looks like the phone might be dead. Uh, it's all light turn on at least. Uh, so let's do a quick uh, tour uh, and walk around. We've got HDMI out and your charging and seeking port. I would wager that this is a door that comes down somehow. I'll take a look at that in just a second. On the other side, you've got your volume up and down and your mute button. Looks like connectors for potential docks and letting us know that this does come off. The battery though that I mentioned uh, is not removable. So while you can't remove the back, looks like with a little bit of difficulty, um, the phone itself does not feature a removable battery. Let me go try and get a coin and prop this out. So it did take a lot of prying, but I did eventually get that back off. And we've got a non-removable battery, but I was right, those two spots, which I thought were flat, do not come up, but that's where your expansion card slot and your SIM card slot are going to live. And they give you a little bit of specs here, five inch Super AMOLED screen, and the rest of the stuff that we talked about. So let's snap this back on. It seems a very weird trend that's going on now to have removable backs, but not a removable battery. Uh, so here is BB10 and all of its BB10 action. Uh, so a few things you can see here first, there's the camera, and it works like BB10 has since we first saw it uh, on the Z10. You can swipe up to close an app, and it'll sort of stay in that grid. You can now see four apps at a time. You've got BlackBerry Peak anywhere you are. You can sort of slide on over uh, and see what you've got in your mailbox. We've got software updates here. Uh, if you swipe on over, you can see the rest of your apps in an icon layout. They're giving me a tutorial, it looks like, uh, as I go through. So here are the stock apps that come with the phone. This is an unlocked unit, so there aren't any carrier uh, bloatware on here at all. Uh, Blackberry Hub, a unified inbox, your text messages, uh, BBM, which we now have on multiple platforms, but the BBM on an actual Blackberry device lets you do screen share, uh, which is a pretty cool uh, thing. We'll jump into settings real fast. You can see everything here. We'll go to about. Uh, there's a software update for this one, but it's shipping with 10.2.0.210. Uh, we'll go ahead and go back as well. Swipe up, and again, if you want to close an app, you can just tap it. If you need more information on an app when you're in it, you could pull on down. Uh, when you're on the home screen now, you get sort of access to your quick settings. Uh, and that is about it. Uh, you've got unified search if you want to search for an inbox. And of course, you've got that awesome predictive touch, touch keyboard that I really like. As you type words, they'll sort of start to show up and you can swipe them up there. Um, just works really, really well. And probably one of my favorite features uh, of any of the BlackBerry phones. Um, so this has been a really quick first look at the BlackBerry Z30. Uh, nothing here has really changed since the previous versions um, of BB10. It's just on a bigger screen now. Uh, so you can see more apps on a screen. Uh, the four icons you can see for apps you have open are just bigger. Um, other than that, it's pretty much the same. A little faster processor, a little different build, but the same 720 screen, the same operating system. So if you liked what BlackBerry 10 offered but wished you had a bigger screen from 4.2 to 5, uh, this might be a very good device to look to pick up. Uh, again, thank you to our friends at Negri Electronics for hooking us up with this device. Uh, be sure to give the video a thumbs up. We'll definitely appreciate it. Until next time, I am John Rittinger from Techno Buffalo. I'll see you next video.
What's up, everyone? It's Ashley. Thanks so much for watching that most recent video. If you enjoyed it, please click on the word subscribe right underneath me to get tons of more tech videos from us here at Techno Buffalo. We have got unboxings, comparisons, reviews, recaps, and everything else you can think of here on the channel. Now, if you're in the mood for more technology, just click right over here to check out some of our most recent videos. See you next time, humans.